Hello, everyone. This is Tom Fox. I would like to welcome you to the Sunday Book Review. The Sunday Book Review is the series where I discuss books which impact the compliance practitioner, the legal professional, and the business professional. I hope you will enjoy this episode. Welcome to the Sunday Book Review for May 31, 2020. Today we're going to take a look at works of fiction about the great state of Texas. This list is my uh, favorite list, so there may be others on your list. And if you have some others, uh, please uh, shoot me an email or leave a voice message on the Compliance Podcast Network site in the speaker pipe. First up, we have perhaps the greatest political novel I've ever read, and certainly the greatest political novel about uh, Texas politics, Billy Lee Brammer's The Gay Place. Set in Austin, Texas, The Gay Place consists of three interlocking novellas, The Flea Circus, Room Enough to Caper, and Country Pleasures, each with a different protagonist. Unifying the stories is Governor Arthur Arthur. Finster maker, a canny politician modeled on Lyndon Johnson, for whom the author served as a press aide. The governor uses any means necessary to do what needs to be done, while other characters struggle with conflicts of marriage, family, love, and lust. Originally published in 1961, The Gay Place withstands the test of time. The themes of power, money, and family are internally resonant. At once a political novel and a character study, Brammer's work stands among the best novels about the Lone Star State ever written. Unfortunately, uh, it was the swan song for Billy Lee Brammer. Drugs and alcohol and depression uh, led him to, unfortunately, no additional uh, novels or works. But uh, The Gay Place certainly uh, stands the test of time. Next up, one of the greatest books of... uh, the West that you can read, and that, of course, is Lonesome Dove by Larry McMurtry. A journey to the dusty little Texas town of Lonesome Dove and meet the unforgettable, unforgettable assortment of heroes, outlaws, whores, Indians, ladies, and settlers. Richly authentic, beautifully written, and always dramatic, it is a book to make you laugh, weep, dream, and remember. So who's your favorite character in it? Is it Blue Dove? Is it uh, Cal? Is it the Captain? Uh, who is your favorite character in Lonesome Dove? Of course, the uh, movie slash TV so- show was uh, greatly uh, appreciated as well, and it actually follows the book pretty well. But uh, take a look at Lonesome Dove. Uh, you really can't put it down. Next up, we step back about 60 years to the book a seminal book about mid-century Texas giant by Edna Ferber. With its larger-than-life cattle rancher, Bick Benedict, arriving at the family home of a sharp-witted but genteel Virginia socialite, Leslie Linton, to purchase a racehorse, the two are instantly drawn to each other. But for Leslie, falling in love with a Texan was a lot simpler than falling in love with Texas. Upon their arrival at Brick Bick's ranch, Leslie is confronted with oppressive heat, the vastness of Texas, the disturbing inequality of runaway riches from whites, and the poverty and racism suffered by the Mexican workers on the ranch. Leslie and Bick's loving relationship endures against all odds, but with a reckoning is coming and the price will be paid. Ferber masterfully caught the essence of Texas with all its wealth, excess, cruelty, prejudice, pride, and violence. Truly one of the great books of the uh, 20th century, and if you've never checked it out, I can only urge you to do so. And we end with Bluebird, a contemporary work. It's a murder mystery, but it really details the... uh, Racism still inherent in Texas, most particularly East Texas. The protagonist, Darren Matthews, a Texas Ranger, has to go to East Texas to work through the interlocking relationships of race, wealth, family, pride, to uncover a long ago murder mystery that's reared its ugly head today. It's a great book. Check it out by Attica Lock. The Sunday Book Review is a production of the Compliance Podcast Network. I hope you'll join me again next week when I review four books which caught my eye.